Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, foot birthday number two is here. The second week of foot birthday is dropping today. We already know the team and the SBCs will be getting because again, everything is basically leaked already. But I want to talk about what that potential team could be, the content that we could be seeing today, objective wise, SBC wise, market wise, with the um, probably some lightning rounds. Talk about how I think these actual foot birthday two players are going to be a lot more expensive than team one. Potentially, they're not going to be as uh, supplied on the market, in my opinion. So we'll talk about that. And as well, uh, just talk about even what's coming tomorrow on Saturday, that massive Renato Sanchez SBC uh, with all the leaks that are going around. They've been so spot on. Every single thing from the team that's going to be in packs to the objectives to the SBCs, every single one of these hints that they're giving us, the leaks that we've heard have been true. So we're going to see if that continues. Also talk about SBC fodder because that's a very... Very interesting point on the market today um, with what is going on where people are investing and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's look at team two because this is what we should see in packs today. Raheem Sterling, Luka Modric, Paulinho, Awar, Adama Traore, Striker, Emre Chan, Yusuf Atal, Bernardeschi, Ryan Kent, Tamori, and the objective is leaked to be Chudery, which is a pretty decent team, right? You've got big names in there like Meta. Meta meta names, right? You've got Ryan Kent, you've got Adama Traore, Awar, who people love his freeze card, Paulinho, uh, Luka Modric had a flashback card last year. It was so insane. This is probably going to remind us of that one last year. Raheem Sterling, potentially position change if they wanted to give him a cam card. That would be really cool. I even think that Atal is really cool too. I think there's going to be a lot of hype for that card. Now, of course, these are only leaks and I'll put this link to this tweet down in the description, but we're pretty much expecting these players to be dropped because the leaks for last week's team were obviously 100% correct and they came out two days before the promo. Now, there's no new information of what we should be getting today except for the second team, which will have all five-star weak foot or skill move upgrades to each of those players. Uh, and we will be getting the next foot birthday themed SBC today. I don't expect another engagement reward or anything like that, but we should be getting Payette as our SBC today. That's what the leaks are saying. And of course, those have been correct so far. Hopefully they juice Payet up and make him a really sick card because there could be, we just had a lot of Bundesliga and German links that were very hyped, but French links are always popular. So if we do have, uh, you know, this Payet card, the Awar that could be in the team um, and the Mangala that we had earlier this last week, a lot of French links that could be possible uh, for some hype as well. Now, of course, the Chute Hurry objective card is the one that was, of course, leaked. We had the Mandanda yesterday, which this is uh, one of the most interesting and I think fun objective we have ever had in FIFA. Five-star skills, Mandanda objective that came yesterday. You have to do it with a full squad of goalkeepers. It's really, really fun. It doesn't even take that long. It's a big W in my opinion. But uh, we should be seeing the Huntelar go away today. We'll have this one replaced probably by that shootery um, objective that will be in this section. So that's it for objective. Again, SBC, we talked about the uh, Payette that should be coming today. Other than that, other than that, we could have player of the month this morning. I want to just kind of touch on that. We could have a player of the month SBC, most likely the Premier League because the voting is over, right? The voting has been over for the Premier League Player of the Month and La Liga. So, of course, Benzema or Messi is probably winning La Liga, but I don't think they usually drop those on Fridays. The Player of the Month for La Liga is usually not on Fridays, but the Premier League is always on Fridays. Now, the only issue is since we're on international break right now, in times past, it has delayed the release of Player of the Month um, until the next Friday, until that player, if they have won it, like Kane right now, might not be able to accept the award if he actually wins Player of the Month because he is out at international national duty. Now, I think Ineacho is supposed to win based off the stats. Uh, big ups to Seb Foot for creating this link. I'll post the link to this down in the description as well, this, this graphic. But, you know, it looks like I know a lot of people really wanted Lingard to win, but it might be Ineacho with the five goals in the month of March. So I'm curious to see who wins. That could be this week or it could be next week, but I wanted to shout that because there is potential for that to be coming today. Another SBC dropping uh, for a player on FIFA, but there's one pack that we have not seen yet in the game. That is the 83 to 89 plus pack that EA dropped in the code yesterday 
on Thursday and it did not come out with the party bag that did come out yesterday. So of course, you guys probably remember what happened yesterday with the party bag, which honestly, if you wanted to craft this today, this pack, or if you've saved it, right? People, this this was uh, came out yesterday on Thursday, but of course, only one set of full birthday players were actually in packs. And this party bag, we were opening them on stream. They were absolutely awful. They were terrible. So I don't know if they're going to be any better today with the second team of foot birthday able to be packed from this as well. But if you want to do this and craft with 81 plus player picks, I guess be my guess. But I don't think the luck is going to, you know, get any better on those. But you'll probably see some people opening these today and getting a lot more of not good players from those. But other than that, maybe some sort of like the group challenge SBCs. I really have not been uh, following up with these, which is bad because I should be. Um, and then maybe some sort of like pack supply SBC as well. You know, you know, we had like a, a birthday cake SBC that was released. They haven't done a pack supply in a couple days, I don't think. They've only been doing these group challenges and the kit SBC. So probably some sort of pack supply, whether it be tradable or untradable. Uh, that's kind of all I'm expecting in the SBC realm. I don't know about that 83 to 89. I honestly don't. It could be something where EA drops that SBC to maybe try to put fodder in our club for that Renato Sanchez that could be coming on Saturday. And I think a lot of people today on Friday, let's talk about the market now. I think a lot of people today are really going to be focused on the SBC fodder section. Now I have club stocked a little bit and it looks like I just sold a Schweinsteiger. Nice. That's like 10 K profit, but I have club stocked a few of the, of the higher rated cards, some 86s, some 87s, really not much, right? I haven't done too much, but Fodder right now is at a very interesting place, right? We had the party bag code that was put out and people invested in fodder. It went up, right? We reached the content drop yesterday on Thursday. The SBC was released. People thought fodder would go up. And since there was so much over investing, it actually went down and people began to sell fodder and it became low once again. So we had a crazy fluctuation. 86s are back down at 26, 27,000 coins, which for me is a buy range. I think we're at a low point where we're going to be heading out or heading into a par portion of this foot birthday promo where we're going to be getting big time SBCs with potentially Renato Sanchez coming on Saturday, tomorrow with Eric Bailly coming on Sunday, potentially another icon SBC finally coming out like an icon repeatable, which I think they could do the prime icon repeatable and in a one time non repeatable icon moments pack. That is something we could see as well coming soon. So if there's ever been a time for a club stock, there's been so much hype on fodder. People have been, you know, sell selling it buying it uh, i think now is the time because these cards are quote unquote low in my opinion and unless so many of the sbcs drop away out of the store which they're not they're going to be hanging around for a while and we're going to continue to get daily foot birthday player sbcs at least until the middle of next week i think fodder is a decent shout right now 84s are up a little bit you know, the stuff that I'd be looking at for a club stock right now would be the higher rated 86s and up because this stuff is down. De Bruyne, 88,000 coins right now. This guy was like 120K when the icon player pick was out. You know, even some of these cards though, right? Hazard, left wing, 49,000 coins for this card, which he was, I think he was actually like 47 at one point today. So some of the stuff may have rebounded back a little bit. So yeah, he was 47. You can see he was up to 50, down to 47. Uh, it was more on the 86s where they went from like 26,000 coins up to like 30 before the party bag. I know a lot of people are waiting until today to buy their SBC fodder because they think it's going to go down. But in my opinion, what we had last Friday was with all the saved up packs, everybody was like, yo, fodder is going to drop. We're going to buy today during the supply. In my opinion, buying today when everybody else was selling, and even like right now with these 86s at like 27,000 coins, I think like 25K, prices are a little bit lower on Xbox for fodder. So I'm shouting PlayStation prices, but if you're on the Xbox, um, maybe try to find a little bit lower. Just look at the graphs, right? Yeah, it looks like maybe a, a K to a 2,000 coins cheaper on the Xbox. But, you know, you've seen this fodder on the daily graph. We had a couple huge peaks right here, and it feels like we're in another lull. And it feels like, of course, in the second half of the year, EA puts out a lot of SBCs. We're probably going to hit one of these peaks, I think, in the next couple of weeks. So, it, in my opinion, would be a great time to do a club stock. I'm probably going to buy some more of these cards either tonight before. I really don't want to be buying during lightning rounds and be messing around with that. I want to be trading and try to make coins with new promo cards or with um, out of pack specials with panic selling or icons. So I might club stock a few more uh, 86s and up tonight just because I think that this is low. And as you've seen, the index 86 dropped off a fair amount 
after the overinvesting stopped, right? So it went up last night with the code being put into uh, the game about the party bag, went down, and now we're still pretty low. Now it could maybe drop a little bit. Again, if you want to get on bids during lightning rounds, be my guest, but I don't see fodder dropping that much. The only stuff that I could see dropping would be like 83s and 84s and maybe 85s a little bit because the 84s are still in demand a decent amount for a lot of the foot birthday SBCs. So if you see these dropping today, you know, 84s maybe down in like the, the high sevens or low eight range on bid for a lot of these cards, that could be a really good potential place to get in on some fodder. That's the sort of the fodder market that I could see maybe dropping down today, but we don't have the saved up packs like we had last week during foot birthday one. So I'm really interested to see today how the supply is for the brand new foot birthday cards. I honestly think they're going to be more expensive and have less supply than the cards were last week for week one. Remember, you guys, you guys remember how much insane supply we had on these cards, pages upon pages upon pages, even the Sonic card. Uh, Lucas was like 1.6 million coins and dropped all the way down to like 1.2 or 1.3 just because of sheer supply last week. So I will say that without the saved up packs this week, I do think there is going to be a nice, um, you know, opportunity to trade with these brand new full birthday cards because they are going to be a little bit more rare than team one because there's just, it's, it's, there's no argument. There are a few saved up packs, um, but the saved up packs last week is what caused the insane, insane, insane amount of supply. So I do think you could potentially see the foot birthday two prices be a little bit more expensive today. Um, but I feel like everybody right now, this promo is all centered around the SBCs. Yes, people might be hyped for the new Adama Traore. They might be hyped for the new Ryan Kent. But what everybody's going to be talking about as we get into the later time, if the content is not that hype today on Friday, everybody's going to be talking about that Renato Sanchez SBC. You know, people are already buying link investments to these brand, the brand new cards that are going to be in team two as well. I'll talk about that in a second, actually. Um, but that's why I want to talk about fodder first, because that Renato Sanchez SBC is going to carry a lot of the hype into the evening. And I feel like you're going to see people sell stuff off Saturday morning after this promo is said and done. As they wake up on Saturday, I think you're going to see people start selling stuff because they're going to get prepared for that Renato Sanchez SBC. So speaking of the cards that are coming today, though. Um, we've already seen, obviously, the team. I showed you the players that are supposed to be in the team. You've got Tamori that's going to be in this team, right? So people have already started in go going to buy up. This Teo Hernandez is 290K. He was 250 this morning. You have a lot of link investments that have risen, right? Kessie Road to the Final is another one. This guy was like 200 and 10, 220,000 coins at his absolute lowest point. Wow, man, look at the rise in this card. He was 250 uh, around content drop today, 290,000 coins at the moment. These cards have risen up a lot uh, with the new leaked team being out. 100% my recommendation here to you is, if you've bought any of these cards uh, that link, if you've bought Le Melu, if he is up tomorrow, if any of these cards are up tomorrow, heading into the content drop, take the cash because there's so many people investing in this stuff right now. The new cards are going to come out. They're going to be very expensive and you're going to want to sell those, right? Teo Hernandez left back. You probably want to take the cash on that. Even though these cards technically could rise later in the night on Friday, since there is a lot of investing, like I'm going to be watching this Teo Hernandez card, right? He's, he's right now almost 300K, 290. If this goes up to maybe 300K before uh, the content drop today, I'm cashing that, right? I'm taking my money. And then once the team drops and people start selling their cards, People that invested in this are expecting it to go up. It's probably not going to go up that much more. So they're going to sell and they're going to start undercutting and prices are going to actually drop. So I would sell in the hype if you have link investments to any of the brand new cards that will be coming out today in Foot Birthday Team too. So that's my personal opinion there. Now, a lot of stuff on the market has rebounded back a little bit. Now, these Foot Birthday cards... Uh, they've rebounded back since, um, you know, the marquee matchup supply and rewards. And Naki Williams is like 280. He's now 313. I'd be careful with some of the stuff today, though. You know, Vardy and J Williams would both technically be affected by Adama Traore. If there's panic selling on some of the foot birthday team one today, especially a guy like Sané, maybe Thiago, maybe Lucas or Mendy, 
just keep a close eye on that because I think the full birthday team too is going to be so expensive right away that you might see a, some nice bounce back in some areas of the market. But some stuff is high, right? Jota's back to 200. De Bruyne is 695 on the market right now. Some of the stuff that was lower, people started buying it up. While Richarlison is low, uh, Morales was 680 earlier today. He's down because of the hype for Anaki Williams. So, you know, if you see some stuff um, you know, drop down before the content. I think people are going to go out and buy cards again um, after the content drop. If, you know, it's just basically a new team coming out today. Now, I will say as well, um, you're going to have a new SBC coming out for Payet. So that might affect the market a little bit. If Payet is insanely juiced, um, if he has five star skills and he looks like a cracked out card and he is really cheap, then you might have, just like you saw with some of your German links, you might have some of your French links rise up with link investments to that SBC. And I will say this as well, you, we only have a couple days left to do the 81 plus player pick. So during rewards today, you probably will see, or not rewards, during the lightning round supply, you probably will see some of these rare golds drop down in price on the market. That could be a great time to maybe get in on some of those cards and build some player picks for the new team, which I do know a lot of people are going to be doing um, on this game. So I'm going to be watching icons as well. You guys know that I love my icons uh, because they fluctuate around the most, right? Especially baby and middle icons. Uh, some of the ones that are hyped up recently because of their links, like, you know, we were looking at Philip Lom last week. There were crazy, crazy rises on some of those middle and baby out of packs icons just because they fluctuated. Same thing with, in, uh, with promo cards as well, right? We saw panic selling last week. There's going to be panic selling this morning heading into the content drop. So if it's really, really big name meta cards that are getting panic sold like this Ben Yetter. Um, you know, since we kind of know the leaks uh, to this promo, we can kind of speculate, you know, what kind of cards might be panic sold or, hey, let's say we, we're getting a striker Adama today. So yeah, you know what? Maybe I'd be a little bit worried about this Ben Yetter as a striker. And if they made Kent a striker as well, if they made like uh, Sterling a striker, you know, that'd be a lot of, you know, demand for a striker coming in one uh, promo. So, you know, just kind of, monitor the market and see where the panic selling is and uh like this messy bounces around a ton right so if this is down at 1.1 mil tomorrow i'm probably going to be snagging if this harry kane 674 on bid right there was really really cheap if this is like 650 tomorrow morning i'm probably going to snag it some of even these moments icons especially the ones that are out of packs but you know the babies and mids but some of these moments cards too they just move around a ton. So like maybe this del piero last week he had a really nice rise um i remember that i traded i think with a moments, um, maybe it was a moments Owen last week that had a pretty good fluctuation. Moments Seedorf as well. I remember specifically last week I sold the moments Seedorf. Now just watch. Wow, under a million coins for some of these cards. They're gonna get supplied today too, so just keep an eye on that. But uh, 100. Also keep an eye on this team of the week, right? Usman Dembele, that Kimmich card. Those are gonna be very desired after the, the supply that they get from the lighting rounds today. So that will be one place to be checking out on the market and keeping an eye on as well. But that's kind of all I have for today, boys. It's going to be a promo Friday. It's going to be interesting to see how much they juice up the cards that are leaked and stuff. And that kind of kills the vibe for like the hype, right? Because we already know kind of what is coming. Now we'll see if EA throw any curveballs in there or, uh, you know, put out any content that would be extra insane. But as of right now, it looks like our promo is already leaked. We already know about it. And uh, we'll just wait and see what the stats are on the new players that come today and see if EA have anything to surprise us. But that's the content for today. That's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.